Hi, Sophie King, jump back again with yet another attempt at a lager review. The one I'm going to review just now is a budget supermarket lager. And it's a Sinetian lager, straight for brewed for Liddles. I don't know if it's Sinetian, is a man in its own right. I know it used to be a football team. Played at Hamden Park in Glasgow in 1976 and were beaten 1-0. The European Cup final by Bayern Munich and I can even tell you who scored that day for Bayern Munich a guy called Roth and it was a free kick I always remember the Sinetian fans come over in the masses and they covered uh, Glasgow they painted it they absolutely painted it I always remember that being a kid and seeing all the buses uh, going up to Hamden Park a long long time ago Alelivers Alelivers Remember that? My pal will remember that as well. Shout out to Mark. So anyway, 4.8 in the Richter scale, which is bored the arse off you. Uh, <laughs> talking a lot of shit from my childhood. 1976. Who the hell? European Cup finals at Hamden Park. Hamden Park's a shit hole. That's another story for another rant and another video, I suppose. So here we have the bottle crown. Aldi's. I'll come away with this. Sinetien, which is from France. So I'm expecting a little bit of French beer. So, since it's Aldi's, I thought I'd stick it in my tenants glass because when you go in there, they sell tenants lager. I know, shocker, Rooney. So, let's get it in the glass, see what it's all about. Pours like your normal Euro lager, to be honest. Get rid of the tea, give it a bit of respect. Light straw, typical Euro lager. It's actually showing up quite well in the tenants lager. Nice big fluffy head about it, nice and silky, fresh snow head, as I like to call them. So let's go in here for the nose. First thing I'm getting right away is Euro. Euro! Corn, fruity, a little bit of light malt, light, light white bread. Uh, that sort of white bread you got, uh, sort of uh, light starch bread. Almost smells awful, uh, not awful, awfully like uh, a sort of a uh, Stella-esque clone. So anyway, Sophie King drunk drinking a Sinetti N from the Aldi brewery. Aldi brewery, no, the Aldi supermarket. Uh, 4.8 in the Richter scale. Let's see what it's all about. Sanji Bar. Beautiful day in Glasgow today. It's lager weather, so I'm going to enjoy this. Let's go for it. Well, that head actually suggests it's going to be a nice thick lager. It's not a thick. It's after you go through the head, it's got the watery, sweet slick on the taste bud. It does taste like, uh, now I'm old enough to remember Stella when we got it in the UK, it came from Belgium. It tastes like a watered down version, what we get in the UK just now. Uh, if this maybe had been a 5% beer, it would have the punch up that it's looking for. It's actually quite good. It's pretty solid. Very, very decent for a budget supermarket beer. I've got to admit that. Very decent. As I said, I got it at Aldi's. Uh, my local Aldi's, which is only about 10 minute walk away from my flat, this is actually quite good. I've got to admit, I could not grumble on that. It's only about, I can't remember what I paid for that. But if you're watching that in England, you probably go get that for about a quid in England for a 500ml bottle. I paid more than that up here because of Nicola Sturgeon and her party. Uh, but uh, yeah, is it one I would drink again? Yeah, it is one I would drink again. So what I'm going to give uh, St Etienne uh, from Aldi's budget supermarket. 
in Lager scores, I'm going to give that a 7.5 out of 10. That is probably one, yeah, you would. You would easily drink that. You could easily have a little sly vodka and coke on the side or a whiskey or something like that. It's not going to offend it. It's quite nice. If it was a 5%, and I know there's a big thing in the UK about the stronger percentage, the more tax they pay. And I don't know if that's brewed in the UK or not. Uh, probably think it probably would be. If anyone knows, drop a line below. Uh, everything under the 5% there's less tax to be paid on it by the brewer uh, as far as I know so it's a decent lager you're on a budget you'd session us off it so anybody so fucking drunk, drunk even and join us in ATM so if you've had this lager before you liked it you didn't like it Drop a line below and if not, thanks for sticking along to the end of the video and hopefully I'll catch you in another beer review. Slangy Valor, keep drinking the good laggers out there because there's loads of them. Ciao for now.